for today. I really wanted to play in my junk book. Um, my only plan is to build up layers of junk. Junk, junk, junk. So I've got this, which is an old palette pad. And I'm just going to stick this down for some colour. I'm desperately in need of gel medium. I find it quite hard to get hold of gel medium. I have to go online to get it. I don't know if anyone else in the UK finds that. Or if it's just my area's rubbish. <laughs> I know there's a great store in Birmingham. It does art supplies and things. Maybe next time I go to my other half, so I'll nip in. So yeah, first I'm just going to build up a bit of interesting background colour. So it's a bit plain. Um, yes, so this is an old drop paper, like I have here. So it's got stickers on it and that's a bit of duct tape. So it's already got a bit of interest to it. It's lovely, I like it. I'm going to be using my drop papers for backgrounds. Um, where is it? Oh, that's a nice bit of purple. try with this and not to worry about what I'm covering up because that's something I do. I think oh that bit's nice I don't want to cover that <laughs> and it's kind of it's not the point of mixed media art really you're just supposed to go for it sometimes especially in journaling process of journaling isn't it? You're supposed to just enjoy the process. This drop paper, not drop paper, palette pad paper. That is covered in paint anyway. The edges I won't use because they're just white and boring. Let's go there. Don't overthink. Go for it. See now that's going to cover all that up. That's too big anyway. Let's go for just some smaller ones. Just wondering if we've got some other glue that would work. Pete. 
Next thing I'm going to do gesso. Gesso, gesso, gesso. Oh. This brush needs a bit of TLC again. I'll really slap it on. that to dry and I'm only going to do that one coat of gesso at this stage and then next we will add some interest got some book text there and some napkins and some jelly prints but for now I'm going to leave that to dry Alright, let's bring in some of our bits and pieces then. Sorry if you hear any noises, the neighbours just tidying up his garden, I think. Okay, look. What have we got? What should we put down first? Maybe the text bits. Not got a lot of them. Anymore. My big box of junk. <laughs> um, there. That there. So, I don't know what that is. Oh, I first copied a, a recipe. Bin in a minute. Now then, uh, so getting to the end of this matte medium now. See how much is left if we can get into it. If I close it up, I can get the spatula in there. There we go. Ooh. 
This is gonna get messy. <laughs> Again, I'm not really thinking much about this, just going for it, so what should we talk about? Let's just chat and I will carry on. So, um, yeah, I bought myself a slow cooker from work. It was an absolute bargain, £9. Because, um, yeah, the stock tape, they get rid of stock, you know, so we can get new lines in and stuff and they sell it off at ridiculous prices. So yeah, £9 after discount. Fantastic. Can't say no. I've wanted just slow cooker for ages. Just like the idea of being able to throw everything in a pot and then come back and ta-da, we've got dinner. So last night I made... A very yummy sausage casserole. I have to say, it was very yummy. And tonight it's going to be chicken and bacon pasta sauce. So, if anyone has any amazing slow cooker recipes that they can point me to, I would love that. I've got quite a few saved on my Pinterest to try out. My dad says that I can have a look through his book as well because he's got one. forward to making like slow cooked pork and beef and stuff like that in it. It'd be awesome. There we go. That is that. Now Now I'm going to pop some, let's do the sewing pattern next, shall we? Now, I'm probably going to lose a lot of the stuff that I've done in the background, but I don't mind, I'm trying just to build layers, just lots and lots of layers of fun. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This could just be a big mess. But if it 
this. We'll just deliver it. And we'll do something nice on top, won't we? Yes, we will. There's nothing wrong in just selling over everything. Let's start it again. If there's something you liked, you can put it back in then, you see. If you've got any that thing left, like you're not used to all of switched it on yet. It only needs four hours so I'll switch it on in a bit and just leave it to do its thing. It's a bit weird actually. I don't know if you've ever used this slow cooker but I'm not used to it. I switched it on yesterday and it was ages before it did anything and I was sitting there like is it working? Is it broken? Does it, what? What? <laughs> Usually when you cook something you can see it bubbling or doing something and just didn't do anything for ages and then obviously eventually it started bubbling a tiny bit but it's a slow cooker what it cooks so some of this stamp tissue paper makes the house smell amazing as well because just yeah just cooking all day pretty much and it just fills the house with yummy dinner smells it's making me hungry actually like looking up recipes and they all sound so good dry in a minute because it's starting to get a bit foggy. <laughs> He's given up tidying off his garden. It's a real mess over there, you know. Yes, so it's um, quite a nice day today. Got my washing out. Oh, put a hole in that. <laughs> oh well. Let's stick it on. 
add a texture. <laughs> I love hanging my washing outside, it smells so nice. devices around me. My computer's under the table but I'm not switching it on just to find the time. My watch is downstairs, my tablet's downstairs. Right, so <clears throat> the battery ran out. Now it's quite late at night. Um, so I'll probably not going to talk much through this. But I'm just going to put a layer of this napkin on top of everything. Too bad with the light. See if I can get another project finished today. Not doing too bad so far. <laughs> this is a uh, scrap of napkin. You know the bit that you pull off because the, the other bit's got the colour on. You know what I mean. Um, this has got some nice embossed texture on it. I'm going to glue that down. Actually, there's two low, two layers there, so that might peel off. Never mind. Right next, what was I going to do next? This piece of paper, I think it was. Um, I use the gel medium for that. Just a little bit.
Ooh. Oh, both sides are really cool. No, I like that side. These are off some pajamas I got for Christmas. And my mother. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. I might need to weigh that down for a bit. Um, okay, I think it needs another focal point. Yes, here. Here. I'm going to pop it there. Um, what's this off? It's pajamas as well. Yeah, I think it might have been pajamas as well. How cool is it that they put cute little tags on things? I love it. Um. I think that is all I want to put on there. For those. And then I want to grab my laser maker. Hold on one second. Ugh, I just shoved a load of stuff in this drawer and it's jammed a bit. So bear with me a minute. I'll turn the camera off. Blue one in, oh dear. For some reason, this one doesn't always seem to print properly, so. We'll just do it nice and simple. Yes, that's printed lovely this time. Thank you, printer. <laughs> and some scissors. Probably should have decided where I wanted these before I start sticking, pulling, but never mind. Doesn't matter, it's a junk journal. Don't get too hung up on it. <laughs> Here we go. 
Why not? I know this isn't technically junk, but it goes right. crazy but I like it it kind of works right you enjoyed this video it might be a bit long I don't know I don't know how long I've spent on this um, I'll find out when I edit it um, it's one of those weird pages it's like really layered and you can see the layers it's not my usual sort of page <clears throat> but I had fun doing it and that's the important thing um, and I've used up some of my junk that needed to be used up, which is also important. Don't just let your junk sit in the drawer, use it. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. I said that before. <laughs> I will see you next time. I'm going to go now. Bye.